Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Topdon TC001. This is a thermal camera that can connect to your smartphone using USB Type-C. This is pretty interesting because we have seen infrared cameras in the past which use IR bulbs to give you night vision, allowing you to see in the dark, but a thermal camera allows you to also measure heat. So you're able to detect if someone, for example, is having a fever, measure the temperature of different objects, including computers, I think thermal cameras are incredibly cool, but because they are more rare, not as many phones and devices have them, the pricing is also going to be more expensive, which is why this module doesn't come cheap, but it is a universal accessory, and they also make a version for iOS devices using a lightning tip instead of USB Type-C as well, and perhaps in the future if these cameras become more popular then the pricing would eventually come down, but it is what it is at the moment. Anyways, this thing is only 30 grams, so very lightweight. It works in a very wide temperature range from negative 20 Celsius to over 550 degrees Celsius. Includes a companion app that we'll be taking a closer look at in a moment. Also claims to be relatively low energy consumption, although it doesn't have a battery of its own, so it will be draining that from your phone, similar to some 360 and VR cameras that we've seen in the past. Packaging here is quite simple, and it just says TC View topped on. This company, by the way, does make other diagnosis tools for cars, including electric vehicles, so they are specialized more in, I would say, maintenance as well as repair type gadgets. And inside of the box, we do get another protective carrying case, user manual as well. Inside of the casing, we'll find, of course, just the camera module itself that we'll be taking a closer look at here in just a moment. And then up above here, we do also get a extension cable plugging into the USB Type-C port of the camera and giving you a larger cable for then plugging either into another Type-C port or even a full-sized USB Type-A port. This can be useful if you want to have the camera be pointed a little closer to an object and the screen to be positioned a little bit more freely, kind of like some endoscope cameras or snake cameras that we have seen in the past. And that Type-A port can also be plugged into a computer because aside from the mobile app, you can also install it on a Windows PC. Keep in mind that again, this thing is wired at the end of the day though, so there is no kind of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth option. You also get a microfiber cleaning cloth to wipe down the lens if it's getting dirty. Now a closer look at this TC01, it is constructed out of aluminum alloy. It feels pretty robust, and otherwise having some accents, there's just the lens, which doesn't have any other cap or protector uh, to note, and also super compact overall, similar in fact to a pair of wireless buds in terms of casing. As for the mobile app, even though they recommend one called TC001, in the Play Store you'll also find another one called TC Target, and both of these apps do in fact function just fine with this thermal camera. Just a slightly different UI and color theme, but you can just plug in the camera and you can set it up so that it will automatically launch the app whenever you plug it in or manually choose. So we're going to go to the TC001 app here first. Again, that status LED light is now blue, and it has a pretty secure fit. You'll also hear a faint clicking sound from time to time because this is an autofocus camera lens, so it will try to get the sharpest image while also detecting heat. So in the app that we see here, we can instantly launch into a viewfinder of what the camera is seeing. You'll also find the temperature monitoring mode, which can have a region be selected for it to track over a period of time. So kind of like time lapse, but it will always be looking at that particular spot, start recording, and then it will then tell you when the temperature is highest versus lowest during the entire period, also in a chart view that gets generated in real time. Similarly, you're able to now also go into either a minute view, hour view, even a day view if you're running it for that long of a duration. Down below here also takes you into the gallery of any photos that you've snapped. Share it onto social media. You can even further edit this shot by kind of changing the visualizations afterwards, including turning on or off the scale with the temperature there on the side being displayed, even changing the kind of heat map visualization. You can even tap on different points and in the photo itself, it will remember the temperature as well. So you don't lose that data even after you take an image. So this is pretty powerful. You can even generate a report view, and this will also save the time, location you can have via geotagging, as well as some other stats, perhaps to be shared by email as a PDF, for example, with some additional ambient data. 
Final tab here allows you to take a look at if there's any firmware updates, as well as change the units of measurement from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now just jumping into that main viewfinder mode. So this will give us again a real-time view of what the thermals are like in front of the lens. Since it is using USB Type-C, by the way, you can have it go in either direction, either pointing forward or backwards. For example, if you want to look at yourself, you can flip that camera around. We can even kind of put our hand in front of it, and you can see that our hand is obviously a lot warmer than the surface of the table. In fact, if I leave my hand after a few seconds, it even has an imprint here that will slowly fade away after a couple of seconds. So it is in fact functional and just really cool in terms of how this visualization is being displayed. You can also see the temperatures being automatically detected at some points that it is recognizing the hotter versus colder parts. Tapping on this dial here, we can choose either a dot, a line, or a plane or region to select and see what that temperature is on that particular spot. So you can just see how the overall Kind of flexibility as well as speed is a lot higher than on conventional say thermometers where you have to be pointing at one specific spot and wait a few seconds this gives you not only that visualization but temperature readings across a much larger plane interface here also allows us to quickly snap an image as well as capture video as well you can even capture burst or continuous images in multiple batches at once as well as enable a watermark, which you can also place the time and date information at the bottom corner. You can also define what a normal versus high temperature is for you, so it will represent that a little bit differently as warnings on the display. And under the gears icon here, you can also change the contrast level yourself to make it a little bit more vibrant if you desire, such as now tweaking up the contrast. The difference range is now black and white. It's super sharp versus a lighter differentiation. Everything is a little closer to together. Same thing goes with details, basically sharpness of your image. The grain can also be adjusted. You can also hide the color bar scale on the side if desired. A pretty simple but straightforward UI that does the job. And overall, the entire camera, even after running continuously for say 20 minutes or 30 minutes, it still remains pretty cool on the surface of the camera here, which is good. So it doesn't really overheat either. So let's also take a look at the other app, which is TC Target. As aforementioned, there's not a huge difference. It's just the background and the UI elements look a little different. This one might be a little more similar to a traditional camera kind of in terms of the shutter key as well as the black background. But again, functionality of parts that you're able to tap on to see the temperature, even the gradient effects and heat maps that you're able to apply are all gonna be consistent. Although on this app, you don't get quite as many options like the time-lapse mode for monitoring an area with that sine wave graph that we saw there on the first one. So I would say it makes sense that the TC001 app is the recommended one since it has the same functionality plus a few extra perks. One final mode that I kind of forgot to mention a little earlier was under this particular gallery icon. It is allowing you to also use your regular camera on your phone to give you an idea of the world in the regular color space. We now see that on the top left hand corner there is this kind of transparent section that is actually capturing the back of our camera lens from the smartphone and giving you another overlay plus the heat map mode from the camera on the bottom there. So you have both of those captured in the same frame and the transparent part you can also magnify by zooming in and even how transparent you want this box to be. Do you want it to be completely hidden or if you want it to be a lot more obvious you can turn that on and off. Maybe the only minor UI revision I would like to see would be some type of auto rotation support. By default, all the elements are more oriented for this portrait orientation, but say if you want to capture a landscape shot, it works, but as you can tell, not everything will flip around automatically. Otherwise, accuracy tends to be good in terms of if I compare it with just the regular thermometer, and for me in particular, it's a very useful tool as I'm able to now quantify specifically if something is really overheating when looking at gadgets and laptops. You can see that the screen region there on the corner there tends to be a little bit warmer compared to the keyboard region there might be a delta of say 5 to 10 degrees under normal load here's another example of a charger or wall adapter for a computer which you can tell is also warmer than the resting region here's a bottle of water for instance which you can tell is just so much cooler than the surrounding hand for reference. So that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this Topdon TC001, a thermal camera that plugs in via USB Type-C, super portable and compact. Some may consider it as more of a novelty or a specialized camera, I would say, but definitely is a pretty interesting tool nonetheless. You can learn more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.